Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. My name's Jack. And I'm Emily. And together, we're Global Thrifters, a full-time reselling couple here in the UK. So today, we went back buying at yes. the car boot. Yes. <laughs> our regular Wednesday spot. It was good. It was busy. And we picked up some bargains. So yeah, if you like the sound of that, please give a huge thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's, let's get, get thrifty. It's, it's one gun, yeah, yeah. Another part to it? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so five pound for. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. It works, though. You got. <laughs> How much is your bag, please? Uh, two pounds. Two pounds. Take a pound. Yeah, and what about your football boots? Uh, they're three quid. Three. So it's a four pound a pair yeah. then, yeah. Oh, you got the insoles as well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll dabble in something new for that. You sure? Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you. Sorry, bless. Oh. oh, that's yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Right, let's go. What's the damage, mate? There you go. Uh, yeah, Ten and for all. Appreciate it, mate. I'll meet you in the middle, bud. Fifteen. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, dude. I appreciate that. Do you Cheap headphones. <laughs> oh, they're nice, aren't they? Hopefully you saw a few bits that we picked up today. We've been back now, we've cleaned it all off and ready to show you. So yeah, first up we've got... M's favourite buy of the day. Right, so if you follow us on Instagram you'd have seen this bad boy. It's a Chico. Electric. It works and it's awesome. <laughs> I mean I'm not sure it's age, but it looked retro. I mean, it's a nice thing, I like it. We paid the whole £3 for it. Absolute bargain, and the gentleman showed us it working. Well, he didn't get on it and showed us it working, but <laughs> he turned it on and showed it working. Without the blue wheels, so ones with, was it black wheels, red mm -hmm. red wheels, basically not blue, were about £30. That's what we that's what we saw mm -hmm. at the car, but we had a quick look, because um, we'd already bought it, and we, um, for £3 you're going to buy it, aren't you? Yeah. We looked at it after, just walking along, and we thought, £30, £3, that's brilliant. And then M found... It's a sort of Vespa style one, and yeah, with the blue wheels, so for about £75. But... We, we might keep it, we do like it, and like, we don't have kids yet, but like, we just got a Vespa ourselves, so it would be great for the, ki the kids one day to sit on that, and my dad has a Vespa as well, and he wants his grandkids to be on that, but we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll see what happens. We might list it at 70, if we get that money, hold up for the big money, yeah, if we get it. that, we'll sell it, it's worth it, but I'm not going to sell it for to make a little bit of money, we'll keep it. But yeah, first buy of the day, very happy. Right, so next up we've got a pair of Doc Martin sandals, so I'll show you off. So yeah, these are size UK 6, the, the chunky ones, nice little slingback sandals. So we paid £10. <laughs> they don't smell like <laughs> So we paid £10 for these and looked them up online. We've put them up for 60 but yeah, they, I mean they've sold for more but we just sort of want a quick sell. Yeah. So. They've got six watches at 60 as well so I'm confident they will sell. It's a perfect time of year mm -hmm, for definitely. them. 
And I think they're a good size. I think six is a good woman's size for. Yeah. To sell. So they yeah. Fit me, but... No, we don't. We don't need any more shoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be fair, we've had the conversation, and she's happy to sell them. Yeah. So another one to go in the pot. Sticking with the shoe thing, these are Nintendo and Vans collab. Donkey Kong. Never seen these before, but we know Vans are worth more than three pounds, and Nintendo. Look them up online, and yeah, they're size five. They're really cool shoes. We've put them up for £40, but obviously we will take an offer on that. So that's just yeah, what we've put them up for. We're aiming for 40 but we've paid 3 So really happy. It would definitely pick up them again. Game over. So next up, we've got our Ryobi tool bag. It's quite a heavy duty one, isn't it? Yep. So yeah, it's got a nice little compartment. It's well handle. used. You know what I mean? Just so you can see that. Yeah, it is. But I don't think builders really... Care, <laughs> as long as it works. As long as it works. But no, so we paid eight pound for this, and we've currently listed it for thirty, as they've sort of sold around that price. So yeah, yeah. someone's asking forty for one without the sort of marks and stains. So no reason why we can't get thirty. Easy one to photograph, package, post, and it hopefully it's a little bit of bread and butter money. Right. So next up, we've got a Volkswagen tin plate toy car. This is a Beetle version. <laughs> a Beetle version. It's the 1200 uh, yeah it's made in japan awesome little car obviously it's not in the best condition it's probably a restoration project for someone but in good condition online they're selling for about 80 pounds so in the condition it's in it's we've aimed high for 40 pounds so yeah. i just i really like the i don't know if you can see it there but the, the hubcaps have the volkswagen, volkswagen logo on bw it still has the original um uh, windscreen so there, there are some pros to it but obviously the cons are it needs a new paint job and a few dents knocked out, but hey, you know. It's still cool though. Yeah, it's cool. He was asking 10, we paid eight. It's not saying we've probably bought before, but we'll have a go at 40. Sticking with the motor theme. This is an RC car from the series Night Rider with the Hoff. It's made by Radiotron. Uh, Mat Matsu Matsushiro. Matsushiro. Matsushiro, there we go. But yeah, it's it's like 1980s. It's pretty cool. Let me take it out of the box. We paid. Oh, I hate that sound. Sorry. <laughs> we paid. The, and again. Oh, one of the aerials antennas just popped off. But yeah, we paid the whole three pound for it. <laughs> paid three pound for it. To be fair, didn't really get it out of the box much because um, he said three pound, and there's a lot of people around me, and I just bought it. But. Condition wise, cosmetically, it's really clean. Really, really clean. But unfortunately, when you tip it upside down, it's missing the battery cover and there's, sorry, <laughs> there's bad corrosion to some of the connectors where some of the brass connectors have actually broke off. So it's a little repair job for someone in the know. So we paid three and they are selling for 70 to 100 pounds. Really good money. So we've listed it at 50. Noting for spares and repairs, and I think we will get close to that. Maybe not the whole 50, but it's a good restoration product again because it's really clean. The yeah, wheels, nice. the, the, the shell, everything is in good condition. It just needs a little bit of work there. The battery's left in too long. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And the remote's in good good shape as well. The box obviously shows its age to the cardboard and whatnot. But we've still got the box. But the original box is there, exactly. So that's awesome. Paid three and listed for 50. So next up, we've got a pair of football boots. They are Adidas and they are the Adi Pure 2. So yeah, nice black and white pair. They've also got a little gold detailing on the bottom. Yeah, they're they're the a classic side. look. They're a classic look. Like, And I think people like that. Yeah. Um, they're actually bigger than we thought. When we first saw them, we thought maybe they're like a 10. We weren't really sure. They're actually a size 13, which is pretty big. Remember, it's only 13 shoes boots, shoes, anything like that. So I don't know if that will help it sell or hinder it sell. Hinder it sell? You know what I mean. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We paid three, which is a mm -hmm. really good, really happy with that. And we've currently listed them for 70. Yes. So maybe aiming a bit high, but there's always room to maneuver. <laughs> but yeah, foot boots are really hot at the moment. People are collecting them mm -hmm. and buying them to use as well. But I think people are buying them, the ones that maybe they had when they were younger. Mm -hmm. And Nostalgia. Just, yeah, and these are the classic looks. So hopefully these don't sit around long. Something that helps us when we list shoes, especially looking them up, we use an app called Google Lens, which I'm sure you've heard of. It's just you can take a picture of the item and it comes up with Google searches of the shoe. Yeah. 
but also another way we find shoes like adidas and nike there's a little number inside and we just type that in google and it comes up with the name of the shoe so and then you can put that name into ebay or amazon or wherever you're looking it mm -hmm. into and it will come up with the shoe much easier because sometimes just Addy pure for example there may be different yeah. different models and just lots of them so you're not yeah. really sure ac on accuracy yeah so. yeah but back to the google lens works same for transformers you know them sort of things not always 100 percent, but it's pretty good so yeah if you don't know about that always worth a try two top tips <laughs> you might have seen in the footage from the car boot we bought a few bits from one trader mm -hmm. and we're going to show you two of them now the first one <laughs> is a probably retro 1950s maybe yeah i'd say it's made by Marks. Marks Practice Shooting Range Game. Now, this would originally had a toy gun, as M is imitating, <laughs> and that's now sadly missing. But the volume itself is still in great shape for its age, and we paid probably two or three pounds in the bundle, so it was good. We listed it for 20, one with the gun sold for 30, so, you know, I think we're in the right ballpark. We'll see how it goes. So, yeah, so that's the first thing. And then the second thing in the bundle really cool really cool and the guy selling them he said he's a music producer and and he's a house clearance guy as well but he valued these and we did pay up a bit we paid 20 for these yeah they come in the original box and they're in great shape really really nice shape and i think someone who's got an old sound system that sort of thing will enjoy these mm -hmm. so they are yamaha ns series which is natural sound they're stereo headphones imp8 so they're made in Japan and they are just, I think they're just a really cool looking item. And they. Can you hear me? She can, she just looks different for me anyway. <laughs> so yeah, these are really cool. I was chatting to the guy for a bit about it actually. And he said there's not many of these that were imported from Japan into the country. And I don't know if that's true or not, but when doing some research, couldn't find any on eBay. We even went on therapy because we couldn't find Yes, them. couldn't find any on there. So I googled it and I found some on what appears to be a Japanese selling website because the price was in Japanese yen. So we converted that and it worked out about £70 that they're asking in Japan. So £20 into hopefully 70 or maybe more if they're in Japan and you know we can ask a little bit more in the UK for them. So watch this space, we'll see how they go. As you may have seen in the video, we bought a bundle of Fisher Price Rescue Heroes. We've picked up sort of maybe one or two figures in the past, which not necessarily buying them in particular, but when you've bought a box of toys and we've come across them. Odd one or two doesn't necessarily sell, but we thought being a whole box load, it's worth a go. There's some vehicles, accessories, etc. We've all got the attachments. It seems like there's some good, possibly complete sets. But as Em said, vehicles, jet ski, motorbike, helicopter. So yeah, and the condition's not bad as well. They're sort of late 90s, early 2000s. What did we pay? 20 pound. No, we didn't. 25. No, we didn't. 15. Yep. So what did we pay? 15 pound. 15 pound, he had them up for 20. We got for 10, <laughs> paid 15. You know, usual situation. And we're hoping to sell them for around 30 to 40 pounds. I did look and the, the jet ski with the correct man and the attachment you may get 10 on its own and then i'll do a big bundle of the others yeah, for maybe of, 30. there's lots of figures in here so so yeah goodbye pa -pa 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 so the last thing we got was a star wars ultimate build your own trooper gun so we found this on the table in two parts <laughs> we always look out for these sometimes we only find parts of them we paid one pound. One so pound. it's probably the biggest ROI of the haul. Definitely. So we listed it for forty pound. Forty because it does work. Tested it does work. It's quite beat up, but it was all it's all working. It's fine. And people also buy these for cosplay, fancy dress, things like yeah. that. Yeah, because they're but basically full size. You know what I mean? They're not. You know, they they're, they're a kids' toy originally, mm -hmm. but like easily an adult size gun for cosplay and like that. But as Em said, you might just find a part like that or the barrel, which you can still sell, and they do sell for parts. But yeah, so I'd pay a pound per part mm -hmm. to then sell it on, you know? Um, but yeah, it was a good buy. Really happy with this purchase. So yeah, we do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you can catch all the new videos that come out. And let us know in the comments what was your favorite thing. And we'll see you soon for a brand new video. Cheers guys.